Hello, I'm Chiara De Calcati and I have recently obtained my PhD in Environmental and Infrastructure Engineering here at Politecnico di Milano. During the last three years, I had the privilege to work under the supervision of Professor Alberto Guadagnini within the MIPOR Research Group. My research activity is keyed to the characterization of reactive processes taking place at the interface between minerals and fluids during dissolution reactions. These reactions are critical in a variety of environmentally relevant scenarios. For example, they induce changes in the fundamental properties of the porous medium itself, like porosity or permeability, as they drive the formation of preferential flow paths. Additionally, ions that are released in the fluid because of the dissolution may interact with contaminants transported by the fluid, thus determining the mobility of chemicals inside groundwater systems. Modeling the dissolution kinetics is extremely challenging as dissolution rates are typically characterized by a high degree of spatial heterogeneity that is due to local processes acting at a small scale. During my PhD, I worked at the nanoscale with a unique combination of experimental investigations and modeling approaches that aimed at enhancing our knowledge on the way in which such mechanisms drive the evolution of the mineral surface and thus the heterogeneity of the associated dissolution rates. The main objectives of my PhD are, first of all, to design an experimental protocol that enables us to locally quantify dissolution rates at the nanoscale, then to characterize the local phenomena that are driving the dissolution reaction, to include them within a comprehensive stochastic modeling framework that is able to describe the main statistics associated with dissolution rate data. All experiments were performed here at the Soling Nano Sigma Lab. This is an interdepartmental facility that is hosted by the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering and that is equipped with a very powerful imaging technique that is the Atomic Force Microscopy or AFM in short. The core idea of AFM is that you can measure the topography of a surface as the sample is subject to reaction in situ and in real time with nanoscale resolution. To quantify the solution rates, I take a small sample of the mineral, that in my case is calcite. Then I place the sample on a support plate and I mount a fluid cell on top of that. The system is then connected to a high-precision syringe pump with which I regulate the flow rate. The plate is attached underneath the EFM, and in this way I can measure the topography of the same portion of the surface throughout the entire duration of the experiment. Then I evaluate the material flux taking place across the mineral surface simply by taking the difference of two topographies measured at two different times. Once I have the spatial maps of reaction rate, instead of just taking an average value, I consider and model their full probability distribution. During my PhD, I have developed a general theoretical framework that provides an accurate description of the main statistical traits exhibited by the data and that also embeds parameters that are strongly linked to the physics of the small-scale processes driving the evolution of the mineral surface. My PhD experience was extremely rewarding. Despite the late nights in the lab and the hard work, I truly enjoyed every aspect of this long journey.